Hi everyone, it's Heather from Loving Our Age. And we're into 2024, so I thought what I would do is another one of those please don't wear videos. A lot of you really, really like them. And remember, this is just my own opinion, but I know it will resonate with a lot of women of a certain age. So let's get right into mistake number one. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to have a part two. I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm going to have a part to later on in the year. All right, mistake number one. The old bra. Hey, I know they're so familiar and we just, it's the last thing we want to throw out, right? But I find with the old bras, a lot of them, they have the underwire, which really isn't that great for you. Uh, the elastic, you know, the elastic is kind of running out all over the place, like even in the backs and that sort of thing. And uh, well, it's sometimes is just about time to toss those. But I have good news for you. There are new, like they've actually come a long way with bras right now, especially for us more mature women. And this is one of my favorites from Warner's. And you can see that it has the support underneath, but um, it's not wired. Also, there's a lot of elastic in this. It's not just thin. And look at underneath here. This is holding in the kind of flab that a lot of us have underneath our arms. And uh, the design of this from Warner's is called No Side Effects. And the last time I checked, it was like only around $21. So I have it in this color. It comes in five different colors. And of course, I also have it in black as well. And uh, they don't come in into, into sizes like 34B or 34C. Uh, there is a size chart, so I really suggest that you take a look at that and try them out, like for around 20 bucks. It's a great investment. And while we're on the topic of undies, uh, let's talk about shapewear. Please do not wear this kind of shapewear. I know it's really popular, uh, but usually we want to put a pair of briefs underneath and uh, the silicone is not going to attach to the, uh, the brief. So what you get is the dreaded roll down. And if you're wearing kind of a a really pretty dress. You don't want to have an extra bulge in your waist. So I would suggest that you get shapewear like this. And of course it has silicone as well. Uh, but the nice thing is the straps are going to hold you in. You're not going to get that dreaded roll down and you can put whatever bra you want um, into this. This comes in different colors. Uh, so your own bra fits right inside. This is about 17 or $18. And if you want the ones with the, um, the thigh shapewear, they also have ones for a thigh shapewear. Again, you wear your own bra underneath, comes in different colors. And I think the last time I checked that was $18. All right, so we know that in 2024, athletic wear is really, really trending, but let's take a look at a mistake. Athletic wear outfits are trending, but wearing these dirty, last century <laughs> athletic shoes will not only mess up the look, but it also makes you look older with its style. I'm wearing a fabulous Belief UPS sun protection and breathable hoodie for $30, a tank top, and Skechers Go Walk pants. Last time I checked, they were only around $37 at 25% off, but this look is messed up with these shoes. Better to wear a pair like this, which is made of breathable material for those long days in warmer weather. I've been wearing Nikes like these ones for around $67 for years. And even though I wear them for the long walks, uh, they're great for traveling, breathable, and my feet just don't get super hot in them. Now I know that many of you are really disappointed that uh, skinny jeans are no longer trending and not in style. But most of you are creative, so what you might be thinking of doing is cutting off those skinny jeans and making cut-off shorts. Well, I have a thought about that. I just don't think that cut-off shorts are a good look for many of us. 
it kind of looks like you're trying too hard to look youthful. And if you sew them up neatly, they will also be tight around your thighs. And tight shorts in warm weather will feel too hot by the end of the day. Better to buy an easy breezy skirt, like this one from Jag Jeans. It's a company that specializes in our age group. These have an elastic waist, a lower hemline, and very lightweight shorts underneath, uh, here they are, for about $64. These are my alternative for jean shorts and are a great casual look, as well as being so comfy to wear. And if you're curious about some of the fashions that I've highlighted here, you can find them in the video description and also in the comments. And don't forget to check out amazon.com slash shop slash awesome over 50, where I have all of my favorites from dresses to footwear and even daily deals. All right, next let's talk about pantyhose. Now the good news is that skin toned pantyhose um, of better quality is making a comeback. And you can see how sheer this is and how it's going to look very, very light on my legs. What we don't want to do is buy the old fashioned kind of pantyhose, you know what I mean? Uh, especially the darker color, the more tanned color. All that this does is it just, it kind of, see, look at that. It kind of just really shows up and so we don't want that. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, well, what about, you know, the black pantyhose and that sort of thing? An absolute yes on that. Um, here, I'm just gonna show you if I can get it right. Um, kind of a sheer kind of pantyhose. There we go. All right, so something like this is fine, and also tights are also fine. It might be in the warmer weather, you're not gonna wear tights, but certainly in the cooler weather. And also, I just wore this the other day, uh, the pattern hose is very, very popular as well. All right, so now what was next on my list here? Oh, right, I wanted to tell you about when you're wearing like a darker hose, like the black hose, make sure that you're not wearing them with like a white or a light pastel dress or skirt. And if you like videos like these made by a woman of a certain age, I would love, love, love for you to subscribe. There's a button down there somewhere and don't forget to click on the notification bell. And next, let's talk about makeup. I truly believe if you're going with your natural silver or gray hair, uh, you should be wearing not a darker lipstick, and especially if you have those vertical lines, you know what I mean? So let's take a look. So here I have a dark lipstick. Notice how harsh it looks, especially with my lighter complexion and lighter hair. It actually makes my face look older. Better to wear a lighter lipstick like this one, where the eyes are drawn not to my showy lips, but to my overall face, especially my eyes. And don't forget to stay until the end of this video where I'm going to have an inspirational message for you. And if you want even more inspiration, don't forget to check out my masterclass. It's all packaged for you with skincare, fashion, makeup, hair care, and of course, lots and lots of confidence tips and my own personal story as well. It's about $39 and you also get an invite into a private group. All right, let's look at the next tip. The two-handled handbags are trending and many women are removing the attached crossbody strap to fit in. But I think there are two things wrong with this. First, if you're an older woman, this makes you look more, well, old lady-like. Also, most of us need that crossbody for two reasons. First of all, it makes the purse hands-free, which really comes in handy for browsing in stores or even grocery shopping. And secondly, it's safer for us because we can position our purse more in front of us and that keeps our valuables safer. Now, whether you're new here or a seasoned viewer, I've been doing these videos for over five years now. And you know what? I really love what I do. And I'm always ordering new clothing, new makeup, and I'm really trying everything out. And you know what? If I don't say yes to something, you'll never see it. 
And I consider myself like a personal shopper for women over 50, 60 and beyond. And I invest in these fashions, I share them with you, and I'm so excited that a lot of them are being chosen as your personal style and uh, you're enjoying them in this chapter of your life. And here's to another five years of me being your personal stylist and personal shopper. You know, I, as I said, I really love what I do. And let me know in the comments if I have helped you with, you know, choosing your wardrobe and what to wear, because for me and for us, it's just another way to be loving our age.